Well, hello then, I do hope you're all well. In a time of political satire, it's getting more and more difficult as a profession. You know, when a man who's been given a platform on question time more times than anyone else to slander every immigrant for approximately 20 odd years has had to cancel a anti cancel culture conference or when we are struggling to cure a gammon shortage in a time when a load of short-sighted gammons voted to place economic sanctions on itself and now we have a ridiculous little weekend warrior who won when 24 publishers had decided that a book that he'd written was a stinking pile of poo instead of deciding that, mm, yeah, maybe I'm no Stephen King or James Herbert, or even George Orwell or Robert Tressel. <laughs> Put it to bed, forget about it, and move on. But no, not our weekend warrior conservative MP Mark Francois decided to get all snowflake in instead of accepting the fact that the reason why his book Spartan Victory, in the inside story of the battle for Brexit, was more like Rosie and Jim instead of the ragged trouser philanthropist and got all incredibly buttered and decided. The reason why they didn't want to publish it was because they were snivelling remainers and they were just getting their back on me and they were being incredibly mean to me. Hmm. Yes, while speaking on the Telegraph's Chopper Politics podcast, Francois said, in a nutshell, the problem was that the orthodoxy within the publishing industry very, very much remain. You know, the whining, the crying and the roaring from this clown. You know, I don't know whether to give him a tissue or a sloppy kiss. I thought you were trained not to lose your big girl's blouse. Anyway, the whiny baby goes on with. I got some nice compliments about the book and the writing, but it became fairly evident that after a while, that no publisher wanted to publish. And of course, they're going to say stuff like that. What do you want them to say? Sorry, Mark, the reason why we're not going to publish it is because it's total shit. They patronised you, Mark. So get over it and move on. So after 24 people who probably know more about the publishing business than our weekend warrior does, told him, to not give up on his day job. Did he take their advice and move on, you know, probably, you know, try and be the absolute best he can be for his constituents? No, of course not. He decided to seek further advice from someone who will tell him whatever he wanted to hear. But your colouring book will be a winner. And Nadine Doris says, why don't you self-publish on Amazon? So that's exactly what he did at £25 a pop. Just in time for Christmas as well. And hey, don't get any funny ideas about asking me to read it in a gammony voice for this channel because it's not going to happen. No way. Push them all out of sea and let them all drown. Anyway. It's, don't, we shouldn't mock. He's already had great backing from that doughty best-selling author, Jacob Rees-Mogg. The one who, who said, if you voted for Brexit, you really ought to buy this book. And if anyone can spot a words with classic, it's got to be our J-Dog, isn't it? And our Mark Francois has high hopes of proving his doubters wrong by saying that if 0.1% of the people who voted for Brexit bought the book, that would be 17,400 sales. He finished off with, I was told there was no market for this anymore. It is all a few years ago. No one is going to buy this book. Well, I'm very much hoping your readers might prove these people wrong. He was asked if they had said this to his face. He said, no, his agent told him so. I don't know about you, but it seems a little bit more like second-hand information. So let's be honest here. Yeah, I could be wrong, but... It doesn't seem to be worth the paper it's written on, does it? Well, anyway, it's early days yet, from what I hear. But pre-orders are a bit slow. But he could prove us all wrong, and he could have a bestseller on his hands. But I'm not holding my breath. But before I go, Mark, 
stop the victimhood. It's pathetic and get over yourself. And do you want a tissue? Well, I shall leave the video here, but before I go, do you believe we have the next George Orwell in our miss with our Mark Francois? Or do we just have another whiny baby wallowing in victimhood? But I shall leave the video here, and I shall bid you farewell, so take care.